Yo, what's going on guys? Got some Rex here and welcome back to another wonderful video on this channel. So today we have a bit of a different video. This is an open letter of suggestions to the Mindwind staff. So basically I am uploading this so that they can also see my subscribers comments down below and they can get more ideas from that that are not in this video. And without further ado, I just say we get into it. Let's get into it. So starting off the section of PvP fixes, have a little nerf for orb, take away its harming effect. Everything else about it is very good mind you, it is definitely an extremely strong item, but without its harming it's not ridiculous, like you can survive it. So yeah, just take that away. Suggestion number two, uh, make it to where if you're wearing full god items, you get two rows of hearts instead of one. That helps everyone out, it helps PvPers out because they get longer, more intense fights. And it also helps townies out who like to fly into walls, aka me. So it would benefit everyone, one row is just a little bit too low for most people. So next up we have an Elytra Disabler as an item being added to the game. I think that this would benefit the game because people would run less in events and also it would really benefit castle because it would stop people from just taking the sheep on a lead and flying away with it. It's way more fun to have a grand battle all around a sheep trying to hit it than it is to fly around trying to ice domain someone who has a sheep on a lead. All around I think this would benefit the game but I'm still not entirely sold on the specifics of it. Okay, so this next suggestion is for the wild fighters and the people who want to fight with actual stakes behind their battles. So I am suggesting slash duel. So if somebody wants to duel me, they do slash duel space Geister Marex, in which case I do slash duel space accept. And we are both teleported into a player made arena that gets sent into Mindwind, in which case they receive the normal mythical for submitting a spawn. And once one of us dies, we drop all of our items that were in our inventory. God items or not. And the other player gets a couple minutes to pick them up and then they get teleported back to spawn. So, I believe that this would really help out to rekindle that PvP community that Old Mindwind was known for. And also, I think it'd be cool for there to be some way for other players that are not in the fight to spectate, not interact of course, but spectate the fight. It'd just be a cool community thing to see two powerful PvPers fight each other with no distractions, no nothing. All around, I really hope that this suggestion is added, and I think a lot of people will agree. Also, thank you to a player named Aridin. He did all of the suggestion. I did not make up any of this. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the first thing to start fixing the economy, add keys slash items to Snowvasion. It just, it's good to have as many events that have keys as possible because keys are how the economy is working currently. So, add more events in general. So, there's a reason for adding these and I'll get into that in a moment, but for the time being, some of my ideas for events would be maybe an event called Domination, in which the players are split up into two teams, just like in Beef Event, the border closes in, just like in Abyssal Event, and the two teams fight each other, and whoever is the last standing wins, and that team gets a key. Be pretty fun. You could also bring back Elytra Race, that would be a pretty easy one to implement, I think, I don't actually know anything about slavers. You just fly through little rings and whoever goes through them the fastest wins. And I'd say like top 10 players who play it get keys. And finally a third one, it could be like a dueling bracket. So you just fight people and for each kill you get, you move up in the bracket and you get something small like three eggs and last man standing wins. Just a couple more ideas. So the main issue with the economy nowadays is that there are too many of each item, so therefore they just continually go down in price from the time that they are actually added into the game forever, until they are eventually basically worth nothing each. So 
a fix for this would be a cycling of events. So let's say during the month of August, you get a random five different events. And that's it. You don't have the other ones at all, and therefore the items from the other events might go up in price. And it would just make a more dynamic market to where it's not always the same. Keep people a little bit more interested, I think. Okay, so for general server fixes, I think S30 should be restored to their former glory, to be honest. It might do a little bit too much damage, but it's an S30. It took a lot of work to get there, so therefore it should be more powerful. Considerably more powerful than a non-sharpened version. So next up, remove super mobs. Uh, the ones that have god armor on and use god weapons, they're fine. Just not the ones that give me levitation 10 when they hit me, or give me blindness for a ton when they aren't even holding a death safe. Like, they're just annoying. And also nerf creepers back down to the vanilla bits. Because who likes bigger explosion? It, it's just more annoying to fix all around. Not fun. I'm not much of a redstone builder, but I've heard that those mobs also really mess up farms, and that kind of screws up vanilla players a lot. I don't know, it just... I'd say remove the non-god-armored super mobs. Thank you. Fix the glitch where map arts don't update without you relogging on the server. It's just a little bit annoying when you're making a map art or making something and you want to see your updates. Also, update keys to where they don't have dates on them, so that they'll stack. It looks a lot better in people's chests, and also, the dates on the key doesn't matter anyway, so there's no reason for them to have the dates in the first place. So for my final suggestion to the server, this is my most controversial one by far, uh, I think that there should be a mass unban wave. Like, keep exactly as is everything else, but just unban all. I think a lot of older players would come back and that kind of make the community a little bit bigger at least. So another thing before I close out this video, I think Mindwind you would really benefit from being more straightforward with what you add to the server. I think that would extremely help you. That's not even <laughs> the right English, but People get annoyed when they don't know what's added at any time and they all have to figure it out themselves. So yeah, I just, uh, I hope you can do that. Also, I think that's it. Uh, make sure to read the comments for what anyone else has to add to the server. And I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, later, alligators. Peace. I love you, I love you, I love you.